Today's read was requested by Mrs. E. Tens for her class. Here's what she wrote on Twitter. Ah, how exciting. I would love to hear water to share with my students as we begin our new distance learning unit on water. Thank you. And she used my name on Twitter, and you can use my name to write me as a class or individually. My name is at Seymour Simon. And here's water. And here's the introduction. Let me show you the first photograph with the introduction. And many of you can recognize that's the Earth from space. And really, we should have called our planet water rather than Earth, because it's mostly water that you're looking at. Water is a natural substance and is important for our planet in many ways. For instance, water is the most common liquid on Earth. Because of the temperatures found on much of the surface of our planet, water is usually in liquid form. Water helps regulate Earth's temperature, keeping it just right for living things, neither too hot nor too cold. Not only is water important for our planet, but it also it is also crucial for people. Water regulates the temperature of the human body, carries nutrients and oxygen to cells in the body, removes waste, and protects organs and tissues. Our bodies are mostly made up of water. A person might be able to live for a month without food, but could only survive for about a week without water. There's about the same amount of water on Earth now as when Earth was first formed. The glass of water you drink today might contain molecules of water that a dinosaur drank millions of years ago. Without water, our planet would be a lifeless ball of rock tumbling through space, more like the moon than the active blue orb we call Earth. Perhaps planet Earth should have been named planet water. I'm going to show you a photograph that was taken by Liz Nealon on a walk that we made. And the photograph, it's a beautiful photograph of a leaf that she found on our walk. And it's a leaf showing water droplets beaded up on the leaf. Beautiful photograph. And here's what I wrote. In the air, water molecules also come together to form small ball-shaped raindrops. Rain that lands on glass windows and house shingles spreads out into a thin layer. But if a rain lands on surfaces that repel water, such as the smooth metal of automobiles and some kinds of plant leaves, the rainwater pulls together into a, into a ball shape. Water is called the universal solvent because it dissolves more substances than any other liquid. Even rocks are dissolved by water, though it may take many years. You can see this if you look at rock tombstones in a cemetery. The inscriptions on old tombstones are often hard to read because of rain that has fallen over centuries, weathering the rock. And water is fascinating, and you'll learn all kinds of things in my book on water.